Okay, this is the first floor of a new construction home where a home run got missed on the rough. So I have to fish a new wire into that box and I'll show you how I do it. First, I mean, well, how it got missed, there's no need to point fingers. Uh, as a master electrician on site, it's my job to blame the apprentice. All right, let's go. So there are literally dozens of ways that this problem could be solved. I'm picking the one I'm in the mood for. That doesn't mean it's the best idea. It's the one I'm in the mood for. First of all, I'm alone. So I have nobody upstairs to catch the snake and help me. So step one, I open this as far as I can without breaking it. You have to push that back in after you get the wire in, so don't break it. I'm not gonna be able to do this um, one-handed, so I'm gonna have to tell you what I did. Put a hook on it like that and push that. Oh, there we go, I did get it, down that hole. So it hits the floor, or the bottom plate, and put that little hook on there. Actually, when I get my second hand, I'm gonna make that a little bit more of a U. Okay, with the snake in, there's a couple things we want to notice before we go to the basement. There's the furnace switch, a thermostat, and duct work, and it's an interior uninsulated wall. All that factors into the decision of, with, of which method you use. One other thing I wanted to point out, the big grates like that are the return. The little ones are supplies. So we're looking for a return. A return looks different in the basement than a supply. So I did start this before I thought it would make a good TikTok, so the holes are already drilled, but that's a supply, that's a return, that's the furnace, switch, and there's the thermostat. So I drilled two holes between the two. So now you get yourself the correct size flashlight, and it'll go right in the hole and stay. And now you can look up the hole and see what you want to see. So I can't get it to focus, but I still think you can tell what's going on in that hole. That blinking is just an effect the camera's doing. It's not real life in my eyes. But you see the blue? That blue right there? Oh. That blue right there is the box. And can you see that black? There we go. See that black line? That's the snake we're going to hook and pull out. All right. So I sent the hook down in that direction. But after I saw what I saw in the hole, I flipped the snake 180. So now the hook is going in that direction. I feel like that's going to be easier to catch. All right, this is not my first take. I tried doing it a bunch of times, holding the phone in one hand and the, and the snake in the other, and I, I just wasn't that coordinated, and you guys weren't seeing anything. So now I've prepped the phone this way. Uh, put the hook right on it, and I wish I could get it to focus, but I can't. The flipping the snake has put the other snake in a perfect spot. So we're just going to go up. Pull it down. Here we go. Simple as that. Now we tape a wire on and pull it up.